Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Well, there is an exciting new research study happening now at Health Partners. It's called My Genetics. Yeah, this is so, so cool. It looks at how DNA impacts health and how it can be used to provide more personalized care options for you, your family, and the community. So in today's Thrive with Twin Cities Live, we have Dr. Annie Eidecker and Laura Ross with Health Partners. They are here to tell us so much more. I'm fascinated, ladies, by this whole development here. Thanks for being here. Yes, well, thanks for having us. Okay. So I'm Annie Eidecker, I'm a family physician, yes. um, and we're really excited to be here talking about this My Genetics program. Uh, one of the things that I'm particularly interested in is our ability to screen for cancer risk. Uh, so breast cancer, colon cancer, uh, these are some of the conditions that we're able to screen through uh, through the My Genetics program. Okay. Yeah. And, right. and, Laura, and Laura, you have a little different approach to this. You deal a little bit more with the heart as opposed to the cancer risks. That's right. So I'm the director of the Park Nicollet Heart Disease Prevention and Lipid Clinic. And so we are just thrilled to test for familial hypercholesterolemia. This yeah. affects one in 250 people, and it's a huge risk for future heart attacks and strokes. Yeah. And sometimes you don't know until it's too late when it right. comes to your heart, obviously. Right. Okay, um, so my genetics, in a nutshell, Laura, what is this? So this is a no-cost test for patients of Health Partners or Park Nicollet. And so they're able to sign up on their account if they're over 18 years old, and they test for the three most common genetic mutations familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, um, the BRCA gene associated with breast and mm -hmm. ovarian cancer, and Lynch syndrome associated with colon cancer. And then they get the results along with a couple other fun things for entertainment value, we call it. So are you a morning person? Do your genes say you like caffeine or oh, cilantro tastes like soap, right? So kind of fun. And then also, where do your genes say your family's from? What part of the, the world? So yeah. some fun entertainment value along with some things that could really change your health per, uh, trajectory. Yeah. yeah, all of that stuff, I think, to me, makes a lot of sense, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we are, we're all individual. We're individual in our personalities. We're individual in our genetic makeup. You know, I could have coffee, but maybe somebody else couldn't have coffee. And we, we hear it with our friends and people mm -hmm. that we know, oh, Dairy doesn't affect me, but it affects somebody else, mm -hmm. you know, very severely. So, you know, we, we should develop medicine, right, for the individual. And that's what this is doing, correct? That is part of what this is doing. So in addition to the cancer screening, uh, where we're able to, to look for things that might cause a risk of cancer development, um, this is the future of medicine. Mm -hmm. So we are moving into a world where we'll be able to personalize people's treatment based on their DNA. Um, and we're just starting to do that at Health Partners, um, the foundation that we're laying with the MyGenetics work, in addition to the really important population studies that, uh, that are gonna take place as a result of this, um, we are starting to test people's DNA to determine if they're able to take and have a good response to a medicine called oh. clopidogrel which your viewers may be familiar with. This is a medicine that people get after they've had stents placed. That's mm. one of the more common uses of it. And we, we are able to determine if they will actually respond favorably to this medication or if something else should be used. I mean, there's power to be said about having knowledge mm -hmm. about your genes and right. where you come from. And I know there's a lot of genetic testing out there that people do just for fun, yep. but this really has um, an important usage behind it. I mean, we could be catching things well ahead Ahead of where we can't return time, we can't go back in time, right? right? Right, and I think knowledge is power, so you can't treat a problem if you don't know that it's there. So for my patients who maybe don't know their family health history because of adoption or, or other reasons, when they find out they have FH, all of a sudden they realize they have a 50% risk of a heart attack by the time they're in their 50s if they're male, and a 30% risk by the time females are in their 60s. So if we can enter treatment sooner, we can change that trajectory much more than if they don't find out until after the event. And so that's really powerful. The other thing is medications are paid for. Insurance companies know this is a very high risk condition with familial hypercholesterolemia. So they will almost always cover a medication I want to prescribe where they would not have if we did not have this genetic test result. I see. So Laura, you mentioned this, these tests can help find specific mutations. Yes. You know, in the mutation, that word is very specific about what you're looking for. What, can you explain more about like, why the mutation in the gene and how that impacts what you're actually looking for? So our DNA makes us who we are, and, and sometimes there's these mutations that make you more prone to disease. 
doesn't mean you're going to get the disease, but we're able to be more proactive. So through my genetics, anyone who tests positive for any of those conditions gets to meet with a genetic counselor for free and talk about cascade screening for their family. Oh, wow. And then they'll get kind of streamlined into oncology for more frequent uh, cancer screening, or they all get to see me if they have FH. We can change that trajectory. For FH, there's four different mutations that have to do with the receptors that suck cholesterol out or the protein that binds to the receptors. So we're really able to personalize medicine and lower that risk significantly. Yeah, okay. that's fascinating. So Dr. Eidecker, how does it work then? If I'm a patient coming to see you and I say, hey, I want to get this, this genetic test done, is it just a quick blood test and that's what it is and how long do I wait and then what happens when the, the results come in? Like, what's the process look like? Yeah, so um, it's very easy to sign up for. In fact, you don't have to come and see me. You can just go <laughs> online at healthpartners.com my genetics, and you can sign up yourself if you're over the age of 18. Um, so you set up your account. Through that process, then you have a quick link to make a lab appointment. You come into one of our health partners' labs. takes less than 15 minutes. We do a blood draw, unless you don't like needles, and then we can do it with saliva. Um, and then we send the results off, or the test off, and the, your, D, your genome or your DNA gets sequenced. Hmm. That process takes up to 12 weeks. And then you get your results back through your online account. And then as Laura alluded to, if you have a positive result for one of these mutations that we're testing for, then we get you connected right away with either Laura, if it happens to be for the cholesterol issue, or with a genetic counselor if we're talking about one of the cancer risk genes. And then we get you plugged into a path toward that personalized screening, more intensive uh, surveillance, that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. This is Super fascinating stuff. And this is, really everybody, this is the future of medicine. So mm -hmm. thank yeah. you guys for coming and Thank and you us both. That would be so cool. All right. Well, to learn more about my genetics with help, health partners, we have posted a link on TwinCitiesLive.com. You can get all your questions answered when you check out their website. That's right.